under arrest tonight. Police say they beat a man so severely that he has severe brain trauma. California University of Pennsylvania are taking swift action against those players and the team. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram live with us tonight. Sheldon. Yes, tonight the attorney for one of the ball players is speaking out. Again, this incident happened right here in front of this eatery called Spuds. Now, the people inside, they didn't see what happened during the actual fight. They found out when they came out on the sidewalk a little bit later. But the attorney for one of the ball players is saying his client really had nothing to do with the actual beating. California University students expressed everything from disappointment to disgust over the alleged beating by five football players, DeAndre Dunkley, James Williamson, Corey Ford, Rodney Gillen, and Jonathan Barlow have all been suspended from the football team and university. They're all charged with aggravated assault, recklessly endangering another person, and harassment. This follows the vicious beating of 30-year-old Lewis Campbell in front of this eatery called Spuds on Wood Street, sitting close to campus. It's kind of sad that they would throw away their future, you know, just for, you know, a couple moments of anger, I guess. I'm not sure what the situation was with the other male, but... It's kind of, you know, upsetting. A criminal complaint says the player severely beat Campbell after he tried to break up a verbal altercation between his girlfriend and one of the players. Phil Dulacente represents one player, Corey Ford, a criminal justice major. He says his client engaged in a verbal confrontation with Sharice Asparagus, but he did not beat Campbell. My client, I want to be very clear, did not shove, kick, push, or touch the victim in this case whatsoever. Still, the university canceled this weekend's game. Members of the student body support the decision. It's unfortunate for all the other players because, you know, there are some great players on the team. And Again, all of the players have been suspended from the football team and the university. They all await their preliminary hearing. Reporting live from California, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Sheldon.